Dude, so pumped, so pumped that Vital has released what the purse is because that's what we need to know. Every other sport, the purse is readily available. You know exactly how much they're making. This sport is ridiculous with a bunch of NDAs. You don't even know what is going on. Nah, 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 nah. Like, Could you imagine Baggett being an NFL quarterback or something? We would know exactly what the dispute was, exactly what the lawyer's fee were, exactly what who was suing who and for how much. But because it's motocross, it's all swept under the rug. And I want to just go over this just briefly and have my own spin on it because that's what I like to do. I like to talk. So, you know, I digress. I got off the phone with a team principal about a few hours ago because after reading this, I was like, you know what? Let me get a little clarification myself and see if, in fact, the riders are making more money at World Supercross versus AMA Supercross. And what I thought was happening was exactly what they told me. And and they roughly go over it here where some of the guys are rumored to get between 200,000 and 250,000 per race they attend and you know some guys are on salaries, etc. The team that I spoke with said that their riders are on salary and that all of their riders get a 100k. <laughs> 100k and then they get a $15,000 show up bonus Woo! so over two rounds they get $30,000 so they're making quite a bit that is some not chump change by any means however they don't get to keep anything that they kill they have to give all of it to the team because of expenses etc and there isn't any major big bonuses to be made from the manufacturers because they're not endorsing world supercross hence why do you think that kawasaki's anderson wasn't allowed to come over here ktm's web wasn't allowed to come over here you know hrc honda sexton and roxon didn't want to come over here because the teams have spent a lot of money in feld supercross they want all the fame and their riders to do well because it's a story for them. Just like here in this deal, why Global Supercross potentially gave Tomac and Ken Roxon 200000 and 250000 A, because they're clout, and B, they want them to win because they want to be able to put their pictures on all the promotion and their promotion for next year going, hey, look who won our series last year. You know, they don't want a rider that isn't well known to be on the cover because it just doesn't hit. We live in a world of clickbait, right? I do it to you all. And some of you guys get pissed at me for it. But you know what? That is the world we live in. It's called a click through rate and it's money. It is absolutely 1000% money. And where I'm going with this is that some of the riders, the majority of the riders, make more from. Supercross, Monster Energy Supercross in America, because even though that Tomac won 40 grand and Roxon won 30 grand and Freeze won 20 and Brayton won 15, the majority of that money, if not all that money, is going to the team. And if they were in Monster Energy Supercross, none of the riders give a shit about the purse. They just, they just don't, right? Because the way their contracts are written, it's big money. Why do you think Barsha ran into Stewart at the last round in Salt Lake City? Because it was for a podium bonus, which was damn near close to what they're giving Kenny and Eli. You know, maybe maybe half that for the podium. But it's still six figures, at least some of the, the contracts that I've had the privy to see. And the only people that really care about... The purse money is the privateers because they don't have big contingency in place by manufacturers. What is interesting is that the purse for AMA Supercross has not changed for almost like a decade. You know, I've got PDFs of 2017 and 2019 for 250 and the numbers are damn near identical. It's just... It's, it's funny. All the riders have been okay with really no purse and... It's the privateers. The privateers are the ones that need to speak up on all the, the matter, but they're getting injected with an extra like five and a half million dollars for just the Supercross series 
right? Which is going to be great, but hopefully it dwindles down to some of the privateers because again, the factory guys are living off of bonuses. There are no bonuses for World Supercross again because main manufacturers are not supporting World Supercross yet. I say yet because it's just a matter of time. The last thing is, I, I probably wasn't very clear about it, but all of the purse money, at least the team that I spoke with, goes back to the team to pay for the crew, etc. And part of the purse that the rider does win, you know, the mechanic is going to get their own personal crew is going to get a little bit more than just the the general the generalization of the entire team that got them there. But traveling across sea is incredibly expensive. But this is a start, and I I really am impressed with Vital and these guys jumping on this stuff so that we know what is being paid. And just like every other sport, the general population needs to know how much the riders are making because if you saw my interview with Tristan Lane, these guys are not making that much, and yet we treat them like rock stars with their popularity. We just need to have their pocketbooks as well. This is Johnny Hopper. Until next time, keep it WFO. Bra da 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 da. Whoa.